This is Abnormal Entertainment. There is nothing like watching a movie on the big screen. And with Movie Pass, you can see unlimited movies every month from Abnormal Entertainment. Head to abnormalentertainment.com and click on the Movie Pass banner to get your first month free. And after that, it's only $30 a month to see unlimited movies, even on opening day. Go as many times as you want. Have a blast with Movie Pass and abnormalentertainment.com. Welcome, everyone, to the Cinema Head Cheese Pod Short for Fate of the Furious. This is Kevin Moyers, and wow, I have to say that uh, I was uh, pleasantly not too surprised (laughs) when I saw this movie. I have never seen a Fast and the Furious movie until now. And, uh, you know, why not just... Jump in Tokyo Drift style off a cliff onto a racetrack perfectly a quarter mile at a time right into part eight when you're <laughs> when you're diving into a franchise for the first time. Um, <laughs> let's let's uh, get a few things out of the way right now. You don't need to see the first seven to be able to understand what's going on in eight. <laughs> that's that's not necessary because everything <laughs> you need to know about this movie is ham-fisted up your ass so fucking hard <laughs> throughout the entire movie that you, you don't need to know anything. You really you don't need to know. They'll tell you when to take a shit and wipe your ass too. Um <laughs> this uh this was one of the worst movies I have ever seen and please don't don't go well, bro if you if you see bro <laughs> bro if you seen the other ones you talk you get it you don't understand like why you know why they're family <laughs> bro it's about family bro Bro, do, if you saw like why when Vin Diesel turned turned uh, turned bad, it's it's family. That's why it's important for the movie that he's not really bad, but he had to do what he had to do. <laughs> I don't care about spoiling shit. All right, <laughs> here's what's gonna happen. Um, no, I don't care. I don't care about the first time. It's a dumb fucking movie. Now, that's not to say that I didn't have fun. I did enjoy myself through the entire movie. Uh, And the person I saw it with, we were laughing at how much, uh, like, how many faces Vin Diesel doesn't have. He has one. We kept trying to point out, like, almost, 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 almost. So, uh, and, you know, we weren't being disrupted. There weren't that many people in the theater. Um, It's like, oh, he almost, almost made a face there. Almost. But, uh... (laughs) Vin Diesel might be top five worst actors I've ever seen, based on this performance by itself. Um, and and it's not to say that he's the only part of his acting that's bad. The writing is fucking terrible. Um, I like Dwayne Johnson a lot. I think he's a really good actor. Terrible in this movie. Jason Statham, not the best actor. Terrible in this movie. Uh, Char- <laughs> Charlize Theron has a fucking Oscar. She has a fucking Oscar. Terrible in this movie. Terrible in this movie. Um, you know, it just, <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez was never good and just as not good in this movie. You know, I mean, she's right there with Vin Diesel. She's one of the worst actresses I've ever seen. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the, uh, the whole thing was a, a train wreck start to finish. I'm trying to think of who else is in there. Oh, you got Ludacris. 
as ludicrous that he got a film role. Thank you. I was going to make that joke no matter what. Um, and then uh, Tyrese Gibson, also awful, awful actor. Um, but again, the material makes it worse. There's, there are scenes between uh, Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham. It's like, all right, these two should be cool together. I'm like, I, I like a lot of this cast. Look, Vin Diesel's Groot, for fuck's sake. I enjoy his the three word. <laughs> Actually, he had five. He had five words in that movie. Managed to get them all right throughout. Um, I, I like Statham. I like Dwayne Johnson. I don't know that I've seen much of uh, Tyrese Gibson. Um, Ludacris, I've never seen in a movie before. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez. Uh, you know, I, she's, she's good for what she does. Uh, she constantly looks like, uh, somebody put some shit under her lip and she's trying to, <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, but, um, Vin Diesel looks like he's contemplating taking a shit. Like, not that he's holding back a shit, but he's thinking about whether or not he should hold back his shit. So there's that. And and just, it's a, it's a mess. It's a mess. All right, so here's the story. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm shitting on all the actors. Um, <laughs> so the, the story is, uh, Vin, I, I don't know their names. I don't know their character names. I'm too old to learn new character names for movies I'm not going to watch. I'm not going to see one through seven. I might. No, I'm not going to say that either. I might watch one of these fucking dumbass things just as a goof. But, um... So, I guess Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez are in Cuba on their honeymoon. And the movie starts. Diesel's cousin is, uh, he owes this, uh, Cuban gangster money. And the guy's like, hey, and he's got a hat. You know, he's like, hey, like that kind of dude. And he, <laughs> and, uh, so he wants to, he's, he's towing away his cousin's car, right? And he goes, Vin Diesel goes, why, why? Well, I almost doing Stallone there. Why, uh, why not race like a man? So, Gangster, of course, has a hot rod, you know. Um, his cousin's car is a piece of shit, but Diesel's car is super cool. So, he races the gangster. Right, it's for pink lips. Uh, I can't do it, Vin Diesel. But he's like, they race, and somehow in this hunk of shit car, all he does is, like, move the vacuum hose on the car and somehow it's enormously faster you know he's like take off the doors and the stuff to make it lighter puts a nitrous tank in there goes (laughs) they race through the city i don't know if they're in havana or what race through the city um the (laughs) vin diesel's car like it fucks up it goes backwards he guns it in reverse. Like, this fucking thing <laughs> can do 180 in reverse. Good luck finding a car that does that, by the way. You get one gear in reverse. No matter how many times these motherfuckers through the whole movie, <laughs> I don't care what it is. <laughs> they could be going 387 miles an hour. Somehow, somehow there's another gear. And they go, and oh, when they shift gears... None of these people has ever driven a stick shift in their lives. You can tell. You can tell. Not fucking one of them. Because if you've ever driven a stick shift, you know very well that you don't jerk the fucking gear up to first and then down again to sixth. It doesn't work that way. Your transmission will goddamn explode. But that doesn't matter in this movie. <laughs> and and to any of the actors who've never driven a stick shift in their lives. You know? So uh, it's, it's fucking hilarious. But anyway, yeah, so he wins, like, like they do a lot of slow-mo at the crazy moments, <laughs> and he wins, and he can't stop the car, so he jumps out, and it goes off into the, the water, and Gangster's like, eh, you won, and he holds up his keychain, which has a Cuban flag on it, just to remind you they're in Cuba, so uh, not that any of the fucking, like, morons that take this seriously would know what a Cuban flag looks like. They probably barely understand what a U.S. flag looks like or whatever flag of the country they live in looks like. Uh, so he's like, eh, and Vin Diesel's like, I, 
won your uh, car. I'm glad I won your respect and get, lets him keep his car. <laughs> it's stupid. It's fucking sad. And he gives his cousin his hot rod. Right? Like, cousin, you blew up my car. And he gives him that. So uh, while he's on his vacation, uh, Charlize Theron um, bumps into him and, and tells him, like, shows him something on a phone. And, like, you're going to work for me and turn against your friends, and this is why. Well, you can't see why. But why is because, I guess, in a previous movie or something, he knocked up this blonde chick and there's a kid, right? So now he has to be evil uh, to protect this kid. And he has to turn against his friends when they go on this heist for a nuclear bomb. You know, and there's a thing where, like, the, the Rock is teaching his daughter soccer, coaching his daughter's soccer team and stuff. And you know, One last mission i'm going on one last thing and uh he hates jason satham and um they're f- gonna fight each other in prison but then they both get out to work together because kurt russell s- and uh, he says so and scott eastwood is uh kurt russell's partner and he's like hey guys i'm gonna work with you together too even though we're not following the rules okay well fuck the rules and then uh the rock tells jason statham that he's gonna brush his ass with his teeth or brush his teeth with his ass, one or the other, and then they're best friends, and then um, there's a hot girl that uh, Ludacris and Tyrese are uh, both into, but um, Ludacris is a hacker, and so is she, so he thinks, like, maybe we can get together. But then um, then there's a submarine, and <laughs> you see... As coherent as what I'm saying is, that's how coherent the movie was. There's a fucking submarine. A submarine that chases the cars as they drive across ice. And the submarine keeps going up. (laughs) Hitting its own bad guy cars in the process everywhere. Um, uh, Tyrese, like, water skis on a car door. uh, Well, he skis on the ice. and Oh, my God. It's just... I I don't... (laughs) I don't know. If you want to laugh your balls off at how stupid a movie is, this is the one to do it. The last time I laughed at how bad a movie was was Man of Steel. And unfortunately, Batman vs. Superman was just fucking painful. But uh, uh, this this was not painful to watch at all. It was entertaining because it was enter fucking stupid. It's such a piece of shit. It is such a piece of shit. But a fun piece of shit so i'll give it that but uh you know what do what you're uh hanging out with somebody and you can watch it don't watch this shit by yourself you need somebody to make fun of this with so and thank god i had that because i don't think i would have made it through this if i sat and watched it by myself this is like the room of car movies i mean it's it's fucking crazy but you don't have to go to a theater for this you know, unless you're going to, hey, let's go do something stupid. Then I get it. But other than that, it's just, it's not a good movie. <laughs> and if you're going to tell him, bro, <laughs> don't. Just don't. Because you're lying. Because you're lying. You're lying because you you can't admit that these are garbage. And you just love garbage. And that's fine. Everybody loves some garbage sometimes. You can love garbage. I'm not shaming you for it. But just don't tell me it's good. Just don't tell me it's good because it's not good. It is fucking garbage. But it's fun garbage. It's silly garbage. And you can have fun with that, and that's fine. So go watch it if you want. Wait for the you know, Blu-ray or Red Box or whatever the fuck you want to do. Or uh, you know, Netflix or cable. or I don't know if any of these are on Netflix. But if they are, I will not be seeking them out. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, Fate of the Furious. Oof. Yeah, it's a rough ride. It is a rough ride. Um, thank you all for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Don't forget all of our shows over at abnormalentertainment.com. Uh, all of our movie reviews, uh, news and such on uh, cinemaheadcheese.com. I won't say news so much as we get some press releases for upcoming releases and things like that. So it's not like uh, Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson. Their beef is real. <laughs> I don't know. What are these two fighting about? Uh, who who looked more stupid in this movie? It's Vin Diesel, for sure. Uh, for sure. And, and The Rock, this was a backslide for him. So, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, 
Anyway. Um, yeah. So thank you for, for tuning in. Check out, uh, check. Wow. Uh, check out. Can't even talk. It's morning when I'm recording this. I don't do this in the morning too often, but I just felt the need. So, uh, yeah, check out the shows, check out the articles, check out the whatever I'm fucking just done. (laughs) I, I, I was too fast and I was too furious. What could I do? All right. Any, <laughs> anyhow, <sighs> see you next time. Subscribe and download back episodes of Cinema Head Cheese, the podcast, and read all of our movie reviews and news at cinemaheadcheese.com. Email us at cinemaheadcheese at yahoo.com. Search Cinema Head Cheese on Facebook and tweet us at CIN Head Cheese. And for more podcasts, books, comics, blogs, and videos, head to abnormalentertainment.com. You've been listening to the Abnormal Entertainment Network. Don't have time to grocery shop? Let Shipped do it for you. Shipped lets you put in your order and brings your groceries to your door in as little as an hour. All you have to do is sign up at shipt.com and enter the membership code ABNORMAL and you'll get $10 in free groceries on your first order. Save time, get what you need, and leave the shopping to Shipped.